The administration has announced people already enrolled in Obamacare will be automatically renewed in their current plans. Tonight, Chief National Correspondent Jim Engel tells us that offers convenience, but not without some risk. This notion of just sit back and re-enroll is, is, is really misleading, and I think it caused a lot of harm to people. After the disastrous rollout of the Obamacare website last fall, no wonder the administration wants to automatically re-enroll those already signed up in hopes of avoiding another embarrassment. But analysts warn that just blindly re-enrolling could bring trouble. A lot of people that are you know, having premiums deducted from their checking account automatically maybe uh, you know, probably should be asked again hey, do you really want to continue on with this plan or do you want something different? The automatic renewal, it's easy. It will keep people getting Obamacare, but you have to trust but verify and you, you have to go look. You just can't be on automatic pilot for health insurance. That's because the amount of subsidy anyone gets is tied to the cost of the second lowest silver level plan and that cost is very likely to change, leaving many getting the wrong subsidy, perhaps more than they're entitled to, leaving a nasty surprise next year at tax time. Everyone's going to have differences in their subsidies. The, the vast majority really need, really probably need to change plans in order to continue with the same out-of-pocket premium and they're not going to know if their premium has changed unless they go in and re-enroll. And then there's always the question of which doctors and hospitals are included in any given plan. So if they're automatically enrolled in a, perhaps a subpar plan for their needs, uh, that doesn't really help them going into 2015. What's the different cost and what are the different benefits? Have they upgraded the benefits? Or have they dropped providers, in this case of health care, out of the network? Health insurance is much more complicated and a much harder to change once once you're in a plan. And that could be important because one way Obamacare kept premiums down was to limit people to narrow networks. And uh, those networks leave out the best doctors, they leave out the best hospitals. A lot of those plans charge you extra if you need an expensive drug for your cancer treatment, for example. So even though the administration's willing to make it easy on consumers with automatic re-enrollments, analysts emphasize one of the oldest warnings in the book, buyer beware. Brett. All right, Jim, thank you.